Ryan with Pile here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the new Pile PUCRC45. Now this robot vacuum has its own built-in LCD screen so you can adjust and set the different modes, set the scheduler, and uh, it can be a little confusing if you're not sure how to navigate through the system so I'm just going to briefly show you the different buttons and how to get everything set up. The power buttons here on the top right, press and hold and the unit will boot up. And actually what you don't want to do is once you get it set is turn the unit off because that will actually reset all the settings you have. So make sure that the unit is either on the charger while you're not using it or be prepared to reset the settings next time you boot it up. So I'm just going to go over the different modes available in the unit. By default it's set to auto which means that all the other modes it'll cycle through automatically depending on the needs of the unit you're most likely going to want to leave it on that for most of the time. You can also change the different modes if you need to by pressing the mode button. This is the wall follow mode. This means the unit will do its best to track along the walls instead of going through the middle of the floor or doing like a spot clean spiral. This is the spot clean mode. It uses extra power, goes a little bit slower, and does a spiral pattern. And the final mode here is the auto return to the dock, which tells the unit once it's low on battery to go back to the dock. This is the start button. You can obviously start the unit or pause it while it's running. A couple other things we can check on the screen here. We have a dustbin status indicator. Right now it is empty, but you will see black dashes in it if it's full and it needs to be changed. We can switch between the mode that the vacuum is going to run on. So first thing we're going to want to do is set the current time. So do a short press of this time button in the middle and you'll see that the hour hand flashes. Now you can actually turn the unit off in military time. For me it is uh, 5.39 now so that's going to be 17.39. Press again to cycle to the minutes and then use the up and down arrows to adjust it. Next it's going to ask you the schedule time. This is the time you want the unit to start up. So I leave the house around 9 a.m. every day. I'm going to have this guy start up at 10 a.m. Time button to set the minutes. Actually, I'll do 10:30 because my roommate doesn't leave till a bit later. Hit the timer again to confirm, and now we can see that the alarm is set and the time is set correctly. Uh, next thing we're going to want to do is turn on the daily repeat function. So pressing the down arrow will let you switch between the different scheduling modes. There are three. The first one here is a one-time schedule, so the time I just put in for 10.30 would go one time and then that would go away. The next is a repeated everyday trigger, so every day at 10.30, if this is left on, the robot will activate. The final is a daily set schedule, so what I can do is turn off cleaning on certain days if I don't want it to run on specific days. So, for example, on the weekend, I'm probably going to want to not have the unit turn on so I don't have to listen to it. I'll just have it run while I'm at work. Press and hold down for about five seconds, and the weekly schedule set option will show. So, the very first flashing negative sign is the current day of the week. Sunday 0, Monday 1, Tuesday 2, and so forth. Currently, it's Monday for me. So I'm going to set it to 1, and then pressing down will skip to the next day. Each day you can either leave on by letting the number display, or press up to disable that day. So I don't want cleaning on Saturday and Sunday, that's when I'm home. I'm going to disable 0, leave on 1 to 5, and then disable 6 as well. Press down to confirm the command. So the last thing we can set on the interface is the clean time of the unit. So you can either set a shorter clean time or a longer clean time. The benefit of setting a longer clean time, let's say you want the unit to run twice in one day beyond the max battery capacity. If you set a longer clean time, what it will do is once it runs out of power, it will seek the dock and then actually run the unit a second time in the day to reach the max clean time that you set. 
So to set that, we're actually going to press and hold the clock button here for an even longer time than we held before to set the time. So press and hold until you see the timer go blank like that. This is the hours that you want it to run. So if you want it to go twice, the unit runs about an hour and a half per cleaning. So let's just set three hours. A minute zero. And that's it. I just set a longer max clean time. So just a note about the robot vacuum. It will actually back off the charger after it receives a full battery. This is to help preserve the battery. If it's on the charger non-stop, the battery's lifespan will be a bit shorter. So what happens is once the battery gets full, the robot will back off it. Like I said before, just don't turn the unit on or off or you'll have to redo the settings. Uh, leave it on the wall charger and make sure it doesn't run out of batteries. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I've included my contact information. Feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help you anything you need. Thanks.